Under fire and on fire, this house was hit by shelling. Gone up in smoke, firefighters did their best to put out the flames. But little could be saved at this home in the Lugansk region. Another flashpoint area, a few kilometers from the front line. The Ukrainian army is still in control here. Bombs aren't raining down yet. But residents are packing up and leaving as the sounds of the bombings get closer. I have my job here. We have our whole lives. It's not much, it's not luxurious, but it's home. What a waste. With over 150,000 Russian troops surrounding Ukraine on three sides, Russian tank movements are being closely watched. On the western border, a satellite firm that's been tracking the buildup of Russian forces said they observe movement of heavy equipment, tanks and troops. And from the north in Belarus, near the Ukrainian border, satellite images uncovered a new deployment of more than 100 military vehicles. A field hospital has also been added. Military maneuvers that are being mirrored by decrees. At Vladimir Putin's request, the upper house of Russia's parliament unanimously voted to send troops into Ukraine's separatist regions. And in response, Ukraine's Vladimir Zelensky said it's time to bolster his nation's troops. As the Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, I issued a decree on the conscription of reservists during a special period of time. The Ukrainian president tried to reassure citizens, saying a full mobilization is not necessary, at least for now, as the world waits and watches for Russia's deployments.